Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Normally, I do the same scripture that Pastor Roger does. But today, I thought, you know what? I really want to do an Old Testament story because the Old Testament stories, those are the cool stories. Those are the fun stories. You'll get this one pretty easily, but I like it anyway. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Anybody have a guess? I bet you probably guessed it by now. It's kind of an obvious one. Got it? Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I bet you got it. Let's give him an eyeball. And then we'll get on with our story. It's the story about a whale. What was the guy's name? Do you remember? His name was Jonah. I'll put the whale down for a moment. Well, let's put it down. Well, Jonah was at his house one day, and God spoke to him, and he said, Jonah, I need you to go to Nineveh. Those people are bad people over there, and I need you to go and tell them to turn around to repent, as we call it, and turn to God. And Jonah's like, you have got to be kidding me. He said, God, have you seen those people in Nineveh? They are mean people. They will look at me, roll their eyes, and beat me up. I am not going to Nineveh. Anywhere you want me to go, Lord, not there. So God said, no, no, that's where I want you to go. And Jonah said, <laughs> funny. So he went down acting like he was going to go to Nineveh, went down to where all the boats were. He went up to the ticket counter, and instead of asking for a ticket for Nineveh, he said to the ticket man, please give me a ticket as far away from Nineveh as there is. So the ticket man said, okay, you can go over here. So Jonah got on the boat, and he started sailing, sailing, sailing. Nineveh's over here. He starts sailing this way. Well, when they got about halfway, and the boat starts tossing and turning, and a big storm comes up, and the captain comes down and looks at all the people on the ship. He said, which one of you, which one of you is God mad at? And Jonah thought, oh, man. He raised his hand. All right, God, I, I mean, Mr. Captain Guy, I suppose it's me. And the captain said, well, off with you. And he threw him overboard. So Jonah now is in the ocean. See it falling, 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 and you know the story. The whale comes along, sees something falling, thinks it's just some nice big chunk of plankton, boom, and eats Jonah, swallows him up, and starts swimming. Uh, now Jonah is in the belly of the whale, and Jonah's like, okay, all right, God, you win. You win. If you want me to go to Nineveh, just get me out of the belly of this whale. I will do whatever you want me to do. And he continued swimming, and he continued swimming, and before long, burr, and wah! There's Jonah. Falls out of the belly of the whale, and you'll never guess where he was. He was on dry land, and it just happened to be Nineveh. So Jonah got up and went and spoke to the people of Nineveh, and they listened to him, and they believed him, and they turned around and turned their hearts and went back to God. And that's our story for this morning of Jonah and the whale. <laughs> 